like the perfect little bite and you're trying not to try not to break the yolk. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. This is your first time here. Hi, hello. My name is Darlene and if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back to another vlog. Today is actually Wednesday, November 15th. It's 8.22 in the morning. Hold on, let me fix the lighting. I feel like we're really bright. I think that's a little bit better. Hello, you guys. Hope you all are having a great day whenever it is that you are watching this vlog okay so this is not how i was gonna start off my video and i feel like by the time i post this vlog it might be old news but it might not be because i feel like this is a very sensitive subject if you watch dancing with the stars so last night was dancing with the stars it was week eight it was whitney houston night i'm a little bit behind on my vlogs so i think that this is gonna go up a week later this vlog might actually go up after Taylor Swift night. If it does end up going up, I'll like post like an update or something, but we'll see um, how this vlog goes up. I'm also putting so much moisturizer on my face because my skin is so dry. So last night was Whitney Houston night. You guys, if you have not seen Dancing with the Stars Whitney Houston night, skip this because I'm about to spoil it. But Barry went home and it's like all I can think about. <laughs> like it's definitely like my Roman Empire. Like, I just cannot stop thinking about it. Like, if you watch Dancing with the Stars, then you know how I feel. Like, he put his heart and soul oh, every week, but especially last night. Like, last night was his night. And you guys, the little dance battle thing, don't even get me started. It was so, like... He, don't get me wrong, like he's not like the best dancer. My eyes were on him the whole team dance. I don't even remember who he was up against because I was watching Barry the whole entire time. But it was just so good. And he is just like the best, I don't know. Like I am obsessed with him. And I am so sad that he got sent home. Like I wanted to cry. Like I, don't get me wrong, like I love Harry and Riley as much as the next person. Like I, I just like... <sighs> Harry just can't dance, you know? And this is coming from somebody who also cannot dance. I have zero rhythm. I don't have, I just can't do it. It just makes me so sad that Harry is still there when there are like all of these like amazing, deserving people who keep getting sent home. And I'm just like, why are you still here? Like last week's elimination with Lele, my jaw dropped like i honestly believe that lily had potential to be like final four at the very least i don't know guys this season and i'm not like an avid dancing with the stars watcher like i only started watching this year to be completely honest because of harry and riley how they kind of like went viral before the show started which was really great marketing because i used to watch dancing with the stars when i was like in high school and i think i don't even know when it first came out but that's when i first started watching it was in high school and then i just stopped watching it but now that it's on disney plus and if you also want to go back and like watch them they're all on disney plus if you have disney plus which i feel like mostly everybody should like at least has disney plus hello can i help you Thank you, Ranger. I've also been seeing so many TikToks of this happening. I think like the previous year and the year before, like Bobby Bones and Vinny. It's like these people keep winning because they have like this really big fan base. But there's people that can actually dance and that are phenomenal and they keep getting sent home. So yeah, that's my little thoughts on that. But I don't know what's going on with my hair this morning. I am so sad because I did the Dyson Air Up last night and <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. So I have to like fix this, but I actually have some work to do.
little bit of an update. It's currently about 3.30. I decided to take a little bit of a break. Staring at my computer for so long, I gave myself a headache. But I'm almost done editing my vlog, which is really good. But I'm here at Target. I need to get a few things. I need face wash. I also need some Advil. There's something else I needed that I can't remember. But I'll let Target tell me what I need. <laughs> Many hours later. Okay guys, it's officially dinner time and tonight I'm making galo de pollo. I made this, I think it was like two weeks ago and it was so, so good. I actually have my chicken legs boiling in this pot with some onion and garlic and some chicken bouillon. On this plate over here, I have the vegetables that take longest to cook. I have potatoes, carrots, jalapenos, celery. I would have also added corn to this, but I forgot to buy it. And it sucks because I love corn so much, but that's okay. And then on this plate, I just have the calabaza and the cabbage. This is going to go in last, which is why they're separated. So I know that to put these in first. At the very, very end, I'm going to put in the cilantro. This recipe is so easy. You guys actually found it from Fredsters on TikTok. These recipes are actually so good. I have actually followed followed and love so many of them. I will link this exact recipe below. It is so easy to make. I, however, will not be making any rice because I actually have a whole like leftovers here from yesterday's dinner. So thankfully I have rice already made, which is great. I'm so excited to eat this again. I have literally been craving it. It's not even that cold. It's like 70 degrees, but I have just been waiting for this meal. I'm not gonna show me cooking it. Follow this recipe because his recipe is just easier to follow. I will show you guys the end result. It is so good, I promise. Dinner is ready. This looks so good. I have the chicken, rice, all the veggies. I have some corn tortillas, some limes, and of course, a root beer poppy. In my cute new anthropology cups, aren't these so cute? This looks so good, I cannot wait to eat this. 